All right, I'm back. The UPS guy delivered a box. So where were we here? All right, we're on your engine. It's an 86 uh, 3.8 liter engine. Uh, it's alcohol, methanol injected. There goes the alcohol tank right there. We just topped it off, so we're good to go there. Bottom line with this is, uh, it's 22 pounds, 22 psi. Is this thing can boost that, and it's gonna squirt some alcohol in there. And um, if you run low on it, it's guaranteed to blow a head gasket, and hopefully that'll be the least of your problem. So there goes that. Um, let's see. Headers are all. Oops, sorry about that. So there goes that. Oh, uh, your uh, coolant is now down here. Your uh, radiator coolant's over there. Got a nice little bottle over here for windshield coolant. Everything's pretty good as far as the engine goes. You really don't have to do anything. Um, the only line we want to take a look at is this line right here. I gotta fall out, replace that one auto said that's for your methanol injection. Let's see. Um it's pretty solid. Nothing to complain about here. Everything works, air conditioning works on it, ice cold. Fan works, has aluminum radiator in it. You're good to go there. You got a detail the engine bay. Has a big fuel pump in it already. Good to go there. Uh, has a custom tube on it, custom dyno tube. Tube, we're good there. Um, it's pretty solid. Nothing to complain about here. I'm just doing a little review of the engine for you. All right, let's take a look at the inside. Doors and everything open up nice. Interior is pretty clean for the year. Like I said, it all needs to be washed and waxed. This thing's been sitting for quite some time. Power windows. Tweeter, remote mirror, power locks, door handle, straps all connected, it's not falling off the door. Um, it needs a good cleaning, good vacuuming. Like I said, the thing's been sitting for quite some time. It needs a Grand National horn cover. There's a T-type in there. Um, This did come with the concert surround sound. Here it is. Back seats in mint condition. Everything's alright. Here we go. Fire it up for you. All right, one thing, let's see. Oh, uh, you got your boost gauge. Not bad. Still using the factory tack here. Let me tell you, this thing runs, it's an 11 second car. You got your oil pressure, you got your water temperature. Um, this has to do with your alcohol injection. I'm not that familiar with it to uh, give you a lesson, but one thing I could go over with is hit your test button. Let me see, I got to position the camera. So when you hit this test button, 
just letting you know that your alcohol injection work. And you see this light? That's what happens when I hit the test button. As long as that lights up red, you're golden. Now, if you're getting a little, okay, this is always, you can turn it up a little bit more, but not much more. Uh, pretty much leave it on five, five and a half, that's fine. Um, if you're running low on alcohol for the engine, you can't, pretty much gotta add more immediately. Or you can't floor it. Anything over 14 PSI is gonna, it's gonna start so, uh, flowing alcohol into the boost. So basically what you want to do, either drive under 14 PSI, which you know how that goes, difficult to do, or you got to just fill it up. So you have a low fuel light on this dashboard somewhere. So if you, if you start seeing that low fuel, fuel light come on, that means your alcohol bottle's empty under the engine base. That means we got to fill that up. So we got to go buy a bunch of bottles of that. Um, and if you're ever under um, throttle acceleration and your low fuel light comes on, like, like I said, it's not it's low alcohol for the engine. If that comes on, instantly you get, let you let out of it. You have a little head gasket. Um, over here, you got your fuel pressure gauge, air flow gauge, air fuel ratio. Everything's pretty mint in here. Let's take a look. See if the sunroof works. Yeah. Sunroof works great. Excellent. Uh, you got a nice aftermarket shifter. I like the stock T handle better. The interior is in pretty good shape. You got a little nick right there on the speaker cover. I'm so prying it off when I were changing them. On this one too. Or they were doing something stupid. Rear defroster, everything works in here. All the lights work, air conditioning works, heat works, uh, stereo. Stereo works. Sounds like it needs speakers. Alright. And that's it, let me just show you the trunk real quick. Here goes the trunk. It's pretty clean. It's a nice spare tire. It's full of air. You got your uh, jacks right there. Tire iron, everything you need if you get a flat tire. You could just use a good vacuuming out. Someone at one time appears to have had a nice aftermarket stereo in it. So, yank all those wires out. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, that was an alarm, too. So there you go. You can lock. Unlock. Trunk function. Now the trunk function doesn't work. Right. We've got a mushroom growing out of the back window. Like I said, this thing's been sitting for a long time. Alright. And there you go. I'll go move the Jeep here in a second. We'll take it for a ride around the block so you can see how it goes. We'll take it easy because I don't feel like getting a ticket in it. And that's it. All right. Enjoy.